Hey, so I want to talk about the nutrients involved in Hashimoto's. Hashimoto's is an autoimmune condition of the thyroid. Your thyroid's located right in the base of the neck and you're, you develop antibodies that's basically attacking the thyroid, keeping it inflamed. And usually that stems from some type of a stress event, could be emotional stress or a physical stress that then lowers your immune system, making you susceptible to developing this condition, okay? So there are four main nutrients that I would recommend. Number one, selenium. You know, everyone's talking about iodine, and yes, you need iodine from sea kelp. That's very, very important, but selenium is just as important as iodine. It's a trace mineral, and it helps in the conversion of uh, T4 to T3. It's also involved in making what's called glutathione, which is uh, involved in the immune system in detoxification. Um, so there's another thing. I'm not going to give you the long name for it, but it's NAC that converts to glutathione. It might not be even a bad thing to get as a supplement NAC and glutathione to actually reduce inflammation to improve the thyroid. So that's not a bad thing to add if you really want a comprehensive thing, but it's quite a few things to look at. But selenium is very, very important. Selenium is also really uh, vital in liver function uh, and also detoxification. Um, then we have vitamin D. Vitamin D is usually always low in Hashimoto's. And why? Because vitamin D is essential to keep your immune system working. And without vitamin D, it's, the immune system just doesn't function. And then we have vitamin A, which a lot of people don't talk about. But vitamin A is also important with the immune system and it allows T3 to function. Vitamin A is usually always low with Hashimoto's. But I'm not talking about consuming a bunch of carrots. That would be the pre-vitamin A. It has to be what's called retinol or the active form of vitamin A. So these two, vitamin D and vitamin A, are fat soluble, and you can probably get them just from getting cod liver oil, gets virgin cod liver oil, and that way they have a nice balance. So that would be really good to take as well, just to combine those, um, to kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. And then we have magnesium. Magnesium also helps in the conversion of T4 to T3, and T4 is the inactive version and T3 is the active version of the thyroid hormone. So these are the key nutrients that I would recommend if you have this condition. But remember, um, you know, there could be a situation where you're not converting because the gallbladder is not working or your liver is dysfunctional because it takes your liver to convert T4 to T3 and good healthy kidneys as well. So that's just something else that I always uh, look at if you're trying to get your thyroid to work a little bit better. Also, the last point is estrogen. When estrogen is very, very high in the body, if you're estrogen dominant, that could also interfere with thyroid function. All right, so thanks so much for watching and leave your comments below. Press the, okay, geez, let me do that over again. Press the subscribe button. Press, just press this button right here, subscribe. Okay, that one right there. Just do it right now. Hey, if you're enjoying my videos, press the subscribe button below and I will keep you updated on the future events. Thank you so much.